Alrighty, gang. We must now go to the Sapphire Town Plaza. And now, I can fast travel or I can run. And I think I know what I'm going to do. <laughs> Alright, now in the Sapphire Town Plaza. Oh, God. Um... I'm just going to run around and talk to Genie. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, well. Niffy! Niffy! Almost everyone in town is evacuated. Just, you know, ignore the fact that there were a bunch of people here a second ago. But there's so many robots, they're destroying the town. Don't worry, I've got this. Good job. Uh, <laughs> oh no. Uh, how do I sprint and shit again? Uh, I haven't played in a couple days. Uh, if I need to sprint, how do I? This isn't my attack, obviously. What? Did... I don't remember because it's not F like Pirate Warrior. Oh, oh my god! Isn't it just space? Maybe? Oh, I hate the camera so much. I never should have taken a little break. I never should have taken a little break. I regret this so much. Uh, not shift. Not, not tab. Um. R, T, Q. <gasps> of course it is. Ah, uh, have I told you guys how much I hate the camera? Um, it's not control. Not space again. R T E. <gasps> it's E. Oh my god. Don't hit me. I am a gum gum doofy. Oh god. Just die already, you Iron Man reject. I think he's dead. What? Don't kill me. And don't leave my attack. Uh, I don't think that I really connected. Gonna gonna get I'm about to leave the attack area. Get back here, boys. I don't know if that really matters, but. <laughs> We're staying around here. Really throwing bombs. Oh, he moved. But thanks to a slow mo function, which I don't think ever really came into play ever, we just killed him. Uh, Genie, where are you? Talk to Genie in Sapphire Town. Oh. <laughs> Genie, it's okay now. Arigato. Thanks, Luffy. I don't know what I could have done on my own. Probably not much. No biggie. But why would Navy robots be attacking people? Wait, huh? This blood of the Navy? How? Wait, oh yeah, of course. Yeah, Isaac. I was just like, how do we know this? Oh, is it good? <laughs> Hey, robot guy. Brother. Brother? Isaac, where did these robots come from? These all belong to the Navy. They were stolen from naval storage units the other day. I apologize for this oversight on the Navy's behalf. Stolen? Is that true? <laughs> Feel free to file a damage report if you wish to receive compensation. Now, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> Wait. What? Were they really stolen? Do you think I would lie? What do you take me for, the main antagonist? Well, I mean, I don't know. Um, you know, maybe. But what do you know that you used to look me in the eye when you talked to me? Now you wouldn't even look at me at all. Why? What changed you, big brother? I haven't changed at all. I never have, and I never will. What's changed is this island. 
before I joined the Navy, the land was lush and green. It kind of still is. And the islanders lived in peace. It didn't just change out of nowhere. It was the Navy that changed it. The prisons and bases ruin our land. And the gap between the poor and rich keeps getting worse. Everyone is divided between pro-Navy and anti-Navy factions. Everything was fired for the Navy came here. Isaac, is there no way this island can go back to the way it was? Can we all live together in peace again? The islanders are the ones who decided to change. This state of affairs is merely the result of that choice. It's nonsense to blame the Navy for it. <laughs> hey, you're Jeannie's brother, right? Your sister needs help. Stop running your mouth and help her already. Succumbing to emotions is a fool's errand. I'm doing what must be done. That's all. It's natural for family to help another. There's nothing foolish about it. I have warned her countless times. Leave this island and all your worries will be over. I can't do that. My whole life is here. <laughs> it would seem we're talking past each other. This is pointless. Straw Hat Luffy. First, let me offer my thanks for protecting my dear sister and helping the islanders. It seems that even pirates are capable of good. Truly a shocking revelation. Aren't you going to try to bring me to justice? At the risk of being derelict in my duties, you're free to go for now. You did help me to collect some valuable data after all. I see now that you can be of use to us. What a jerk! He didn't even listen to a thing we said! Don't let a guy like that get you down, Genie. Let's just keep going with our investigation. Okay. Luffy, there's just somewhere I'd like to stop at first. Would you mind waiting here? Huh? I'm sorry, I'll be right back. Jeez. Hmm. I wonder where Genie might be. She's always so predictable going to her dead mom and shit. Now let's see if we cannot find her here. Uh, how do we do F? Oh. <laughs> hmm. I wonder where Genie is. Oh. Oh, it appears you have a visitor, Genie. He flew into the trees. So, you wanted to visit your mom's grave, huh? Yeah, I couldn't stop thinking about this island. Or my brother. What would my mother do if she were still alive? If she hadn't been killed? Would the island still be the same today? Wait, your mom was killed? Twelve years ago, when pirates attacked the island. It was a horrific war. Her mother was dragged out, brutally raped, and slaughtered. Hung her organs all over town like Christmas decorations. Should have seen it. It was pretty messed up. Right, Jenny? Uh, oh, God. Yeah, they, they were after the Dynastones. Dynastones? The stones are deadly power that rivals the ancient weapons. The only one who knew how to excavate the stones safely was the island's leader. It was a secret that was passed down from one to the next. As her leader, my mother knew what the method was. When she died, the secret to excavating the stones was lost forever. But that didn't stop pirates from coming here to search for them. <laughs> all those pirates are the reason for all the sailors, huh? Yeah, after my mother died, the Navy took over the island. After the prisons were built, people started calling it Prison Island. <laughs> it used to be Jewel Island, back when we used to excavate ore and gemstones, and everyone was actually happy. I wanted to go back to that time so badly. I still do. So when Isaac first came back here, I was overjoyed. He remembers those days too. So I thought for sure he would bring them back, but they never did. Isaac made a new prison. Thanks to the prisons, there were both more jobs and more people, and business got better and better. But only a few reaped the benefits. Anyone who didn't go along with them was ostracized and left behind. That's when the islanders split into pro-navy and anti-navy and began fighting amongst themselves. So I decided to go see my brother, but he wouldn't even give me the time of day. My own flesh and blood maybe no longer thinks of me as family. What are you talking about? Family is forever. I don't see my brawl. I see. I didn't listen to that last thing. I wonder if my brother feels the same way about me. What about you? Do you not think of him as your brother anymore? No. What? Ah! Of course I wouldn't even talk about Luffy, do you listen, you idiot? Then trust me, he feels the same too. If his own family won't believe in him, who will? Yeah, you're right. I have to believe in him. <laughs> That's the spirit. <laughs> oh, a cutscene, a real one. Oh, he's a good. Sherma 666 of Iraq. Tell them the time and place to transfer. Oh. Watch what you say. If the Navy gets wind of this, more blood will be spilled. Yes, sir. 
What about the other pirates? They're continuing to come to the island. Oh, and there's one thing you should know. Oh? We've received intel that the world government has dispatched CP0 to the island. <gasps> no way. All I know about them is from pirate warriors. They're like these secret agent looking dudes, I think. They know what they want. Leave them be. <sighs> we now have Jerma and CP on the island. Thanks for listening to me, Luffy. Sorry to keep you waiting. <laughs> don't worry about it. So, how did we get there? Tell you the truth, I don't know. So I thought it was Starpike had information somewhere. You know, where there's a lot of people. And the nearest place from here is this, you know, Sapphire Town. I can see the Steel City right behind you. I can fling myself from that tree. Oh yeah, yeah, of course, Steel City is great for gathering information too. Uh, then there's Ruby Village, a lot of pirates, you know. That's a lot, but if we split up and work together, we should be able to get it done in no time. Together? <laughs> yeah. Okay, fine, let's do it. Alright, let's get the island investigation started. But they're saving a mother and a brother and made the mission completed. <laughs> now to throw myself... Oh, please land. Yes, in Steel City. Looking for more horror fun? You're goddamn right. Then check out the VHS comic book series, a parody of the horror genre that follows the lives of three teens as they fight to survive a horror movie, where every day is loaded with blood, boobs, and buds. The first two issues can be found in the description below. I was obsessed with VHS.